I'm a coaster and a very proud coaster indeed. Um, mum and dad are both Irish Catholics, both long dead, bless them. Mum came from inland Blackpool area, riverside town called uh, Moonlight, which is the site now of the Pike River mine disaster. And dad came from a place called Kotaku, which is near Lake Prana. So that's where I came from, humble, modest background, West Coast Irish Catholic. I'm second of seven. Dad died when I was 11, um, so brought up by mum as a widow. I was educated in a Catholic school by the Marish brothers initially. I left when I was 15. I'd been four years without a father, and it'd be fair to say I might have um, developed some habits that were not considered savoury at the time. Mum said to me that uh, I was getting out of control and I had to make an informed decision about what I wanted to do with my life. And her idea was that if I got a school certificate, which is about as high as you went in those days, if I got school certain five subjects out of five, she would allow me to leave school. Because it was fairly clear that I was interested in anything else but school at the time. So I fulfilled my part of the bargain. She took me to the train, kissed me goodbye. I became a jockey. I did that for four years. I was in the top ten in New Zealand every year I rode. Ended up riding once for New Zealand in an invitational race. I was a bit of a lost end when I finished riding, so I went and worked on the um, hydroelectric project at Ohau B, down by Twizel, which is a fairly bizarre thing to do. But I wanted to save some money and head overseas to have a, like every Kiwi does, have my opportunity to explore the world and see if there's a better place in New Zealand to live. I worked in the south of England, down around the Newbury, Oxford area. While I was over there, I had plenty of time to reflect and to think about my life. After long reflection, decided to enrol in veterinary school at Massey University in Palmerston North in New Zealand, which is the only place you can do vet school. And I went to New Zealand House and went through all the papers and all the process, submitted my application and got a one sentence letter back from Massey saying, you're dreaming. I went back to them and said, well, you tell me how it would work. They said, go back to school for a year, study hard, you might be a chance. I went back and did secondary school at Greymouth. The month before I turned 25, I started school. The more people tell me I can't do, the more I want to do it, and the more I will do it. So when Massey said that, there's only one way I was ever going to respond. So I did large animal equine type work, so um, injury recovery, that sort of thing, but high performance thoroughbreds, and did a little bit of commercial horse training at the same time. My first big play in hospitality was Eurobar, which is over on Prince's Wharf. And Euro was um, in the top 50 in the world the first year it opened. It made a big difference to Auckland. It had arrived simultaneously with the first America's Cup here in town. Then I thought I might try an Irish bar. So I did Danny Doolan's, which has in turn become a legend in the Vida. I've had a fantastic run. Yeah, I've had a lot of support from the people of Auckland. But my commitment to Auckland City now is that uh, I'm going to give something back. I've contributed in a very positive way to Auckland, but now I want to take what I've done in the viaduct and through the Auckland city, and I want to expand that out to the boundaries, down to the Port Waikato and up north beyond Albany, and bring the Leo factor to the rest of Auckland. I know that I can get things done like no one before me has been able to do. You know, people often say to me, you know, why do you support Leo? And it's for the pure reason he supported us yeah. and by supporting us he supported thousands of people someone who's seen the coalface someone that's been in the trenches with us since day one of the lockdown he understands it he's seen it so he knows what needs to be done you know I really want him to be mayor not just because it'll be good for us for BBM but it'll be good for our people be good for Auckland I'm a mayor for everybody clearly small business needs a hand small business needs leadership small business needs a voice I will bring a fair and reasonable package to everybody, from South Auckland, North Auckland, both sides. That's what I do. I'll just make Auckland better and we'll all benefit from it. And I'll make Wellington dance to our tune. There'll be no more tail wagging dogs.